Boston? Mumasi. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What is the meaning of this? Why is the compound not swept up till now? Nay, you know we sweep this compound in tons. It's a coach's turn to sweep today. Mine was yesterday. And where is she? I don't know, Nay. Maybe she'll be in her hut still sleeping. Akuchi! 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 Are you dead or what? Masi. She's not there. Where is she? No, I don't know. Did she tell you she was going anywhere this early morning? She and I, we rarely talk these days. We don't really? talk to each other. Okay. I see. Akuchi will go to wherever she's gone to and come back here to meet me. Her punishment will be to sweep this compound for four days. Four good days. Now go tell Obina to get me water to wash my face and chew his stick. No, Obina went to the stream to fetch water. Now you go get it for me. Ha! I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. There's a time for everything, the time for man. And the time for the gods to do their thing In man's time he could do and undo But in the gods time What should be done is what they will do ah, hey, They will choose for themselves That special one The chosen one To do their bids they will choose oh, oh, the unexpected, the unaccepted, and the rejected. But whom the gods have chosen, no one can reject. And no one can curse whom the gods have blessed. Igolo, 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 ah, Igolo, Igolo, Igolo. The chosen one, you will conquer, you will take over, you are the victor, he can win Mary, you will conquer, you will take over, you are the victor, when you marry. The chosen one, that special one, the anointed one, a warrior, an inferior, but not a superior, with the strength of a thousand men, and the heart of a lion, a lion, a lion. The gods won't make mistakes. They will enthrone the original but not the fake. It is fate, so take your place. For the gods have chosen you, Igolo. Igolo, the chosen one. Take your place, drive away the enemies. Igolo, Igolo, Igolo.
It's okay. You know, a man has to look good. Mm. Because you never can say you might meet a maiden on the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm ready, uh, let us go. Okay. Yeah. Um, brother Anosike, uh, please just look around. Look around this compound. It looks very disgusting. Very disgusting. Eh? Uh, uh, must these deaths wait for Akuchi to come back before they are taken care of? Um, I can instruct somebody to clean up this place. It cannot. It is my business. It is my business. Akuchi must come back to sweep this compound. Be it in the midnight or even tomorrow, she will come back to sweep this compound. I know it is your business, uh, bro. But I am your brother. Eh? What I am saying is, two wrongs can never make a right. Impossible. Well, granted that uh, Akuchi made the mistake of leaving this place this way before going to wherever she went. But it should not remain this way until she comes back. Punish her whenever she comes back. Now, assuming a visitor comes in here, will you offer him cola in this kind of mess? Not at all. He won't accept from you. Even myself, he can, I won't collect cola from you in this kind of environment. Uh, what I am saying. 
instruct either Masi or her son Obina to clear this debt away. And when Akuchi comes back, let her dance to the music. Okay, I've heard you. I've heard you. Ah. I've heard you. It's all right. Ah. It's okay. I've heard you. But Akuchi will certainly serve a punishment when she comes back. She will. I can't stop you. She will. And Obina. Obina. Where's this boy? Oh. Where's Obina? I sent him to the farm to fetch some firewood. Oh, you did? Alright. So, you get the broom and sweep this compound, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go. What on my... It's not my turn to sweep the compound today. Ah. Masi, I know it is not your turn to sweep the compound today. But do it. Sweep it. Anytime Akuchi comes back, she will face her own punishment. Bam. Just do it. I'm going for the elders. Yeah. I don't want to come back and see this thing. Let's go. <clears throat> Pick out the room and save the compound. <laughs> if Akuchi comes back now, you won't still do anything. You will come back and meet this compound this way. Did I hear you say anything? Mmm, Ayele. Ayele, Ayele, Ayele. Mmm, Ayele, Ebele, Ebele, Ebele. Mmm, there's a time for everything the time for man and the time for the gods to do their thing in man's time, he could do and undo, but in the God's time, what should be done is what they will do. Ah, hey, they will choose for themselves that special one, the chosen one, to do their bids. They will choose, oh, oh, the unexpected, the unaccepted, and the rejected. But whom the gods have chosen, no one can reject. And no one can curse whom the gods are best. Igolo, 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 ah, Igolo, Igolo, Igolo. The chosen one, you will conquer, you will take over, you are the victor, you will conquer, you will take over, you are the victor, when you marry. The chosen one, that special one, the anointed one, a warrior, an inferior, but not a superior, with the strength of a thousand men, and the heart of a lion, a lion, a lion. The gods won't make mistakes. They will enthrone the original but not the fake. It is fate, so take your place. For the gods have chosen you, Igolo. Igolo, the chosen one. Take your place, drive away the enemies. Igolo, Igolo, Igolo. The chosen one, the chosen one, you will conquer, you will take over, you are the victor, you will conquer, you will take over, you are the victor, William Mary. Hey, 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 hey,
My husband, well done. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're back from the market. Uh, it seems we have a visitor. No, she's not a visitor. She's my new wife. Huh? Your new wife? Yes, my new wife. Mm. Mm. Oh, this lipstick. Very sweet. Do you know the lipstick makes the aura sweeter? <laughs> To bury our late king. Now, look at that. This is madness. Agrocarriers offer will save us the stress of taxing the villagers. That's exactly. You see? Um, my king's men, that I, Akokaria, accepted to provide all the items needed for the burial of our late king does not mean that I wanted to intimidate anyone. If my kind-heartedness will create some problem in the community, I want to withdraw my offer. You are not no, withdrawing anything. You are not withdrawing anything. Not withdrawing anything. Not, not, not at all. You are not withdrawing. How can you withdraw? You are not withdrawing. You are not withdrawing. Let me tell you. Anno Sike and Ikenna cannot dictate for us how we will source the money to bury our late king. Cannot. In fact, we appreciate your large heart. Akukalia. And we all, on behalf of our entire kingdom, I want to say thank you. We appreciate your kind gesture. We receive it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, well, uh, what do you say? In fact, your offer to provide for us all the items is acceptable. Akukalia! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Akukalia! Mm -hmm. The man with overflowing wealth. <laughs> what else do we need? The meeting is ended. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> I I want you to know that there are certain things you don't discuss outside. Especially on your road. Because there might be somebody listening in. Hmm? The walls have ears. Yes, somebody might be there. He's dropping. Yeah, and don't forget that the matter in question sensitive. is a very sensitive Very, point. very sensitive. Yeah, correct. That was why I was nudging you. Nudging you to come. Let's get home first. Now we're home. Go ahead. I'm listening. Thank you. Brother. I was wondering why you reacted the way you did when Akukaria opted to provide all those items needed for the burial. Good question. 
I exactly knew that it was what you were going to ask me. I'll tell you. I reacted that way because Akokare had an ulterior motive by saying he was going to provide those items. He promised. How do you mean? Good. Akokaria wants the throne of Iyoma kingdom. Reason he said he was going to provide all those items. He said he was going to provide. And if he's allowed to do so, it will automatically mean that he single-handedly buried the king. Don't forget that the king does not have a hair. And if he does, it will give him an express road to the throne. Ban, ban, ban. That is impossible. It cannot happen. I'm glad you now understand where I'm coming from. The throne was stolen from our forefathers by late Igwe Obiajono's ancestors. Now, the Igwe is dead without any hair. That throne must come back to us. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And that is what we should be fighting for. Oh, this can never happen, brother. That throne must come back to us. Shh, Oli, bring your voice now. Let me go home, okay? okay. I will see you later. My guest, your family. Uh -huh.
nine. I bought Gueva from the market for you. They are very sweet. My husband, I bought sweet tantrum for you from the market. They taste like honey really? and have enough water. Yeah, What's the meaning of that? The meaning is that my husband will not eat from your food, but mine. Your husband? Yes, my husband. Have you forgotten I'm the first wife? <laughs> first wife indeed. How many times does he allow me into his chamber? Uh, enough. Enough. That's enough. Both of you. It's enough. Uh, Akuchi. Nine. Let me suck out of our Thank you. I do not want to eat quarter. Uh, you heard him. Marcy. Come and sit down and peel the tangerines for me. You heard him. What? So you can please take your guava. Uh, or better stay. Sit, 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 sit down. Where did you get this tangerines from? <laughs> no, from the market. Really? Can't wait to hold it up. Hold it up.
Master, what is it? I don't have strength to sweep this compound. Ah. You have to try. It's a kind of exercise for you. Hmm? It will make your baby strong and healthy. Huh? Rather than help me sweep this compound, you're here telling me it's part of exercise. But it's true. Pregnant women exercise so that their children will be stronger. How do you know? Have you been pregnant before? So don't say what you don't know. Ay! Oh! My stomach! Ay! Mas Ay! What is it? My husband. Eh? The baby is kicking. The baby is kicking? Yes. Eh? Because uh, he saw me? Eh? No. Why are you, why are you sweeping? Eh? What are these conditions? My husband, the compound is so dirty and there's no other person to sweep this compound. Drop the drop, 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 drop this room. Drop it first. Eh? Drop it. Drop it and go back to your Go, go back to your hut. Go back. Akuchi, where are you going to? No, I'm going to the farm. You're going to the farm? Leaving the compound is dirty. Yeah. It's not my turn. It's Massey's turn. Massey's turn. Massey's turn to sweep. Under this condition, can't you see she's heavily pregnant? Nine. Pregnant women work. Huh? They exercise. It helps their children to be stronger and healthier. Tell me. Liar! Liar! I know your plan. You are jealous of my pregnancy. You want to subject me to stress so that I will lose my baby. It will not work for you. Am I the one that made you bury me? Uh, you know what? Drop that in. Drop that basket right now and pick up this room and sweep this place quick. Baron, pick it up and sweep this place before you go, 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 go anywhere. Are uh, you? To your hut. Go to your hut quick. Nine. It's better in your own hut so that I'll be taken good care of. Mm, I see. It's okay. It's still alright. Uh, come on. Mm. Take it easy. Take it easy. Eh? Mm. Sweep! Pick the room and sweep this place. Now you said you're going to my house and you're
नहीं After all, she's not worth it. She's a barren woman. She didn't give you any child, but I did. Please, let us eat this food before it gets cold. Obina! Obina! Yes, Mama. Where is the water to wash her hands now? Obina, have you eaten? Yes, Papa. You have eaten, my son. Are you full? Yes. Open the food, yes. Yeah? Mm. Obina, you eat with me, okay? Oh, come on, come, come and sit down. You eat with me, eh? Sit down, sit down. Yes, yes. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. My son. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can, you can go and rest now. Mm? Oh, you didn't know? Eh? A replica of his father. Mm. <laughs> Well, his complexion is like yours. Hmm? Yes. Because I did it in the afternoon. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Does it make any difference? Mm. That's what my, my father said. If you do it in the afternoon, you will be complexion will be different from when you do it in the night. <laughs>
it's night already. And she's not still back. Where could she be? Where could I could she be? Oh the gods, may you please keep her safe wherever she is. Must you take it easy, you know you're heavy. Eh? Gently when you're sitting down before you fall into the ground. Eh? What is it? What is it? I woke up, I didn't see you in bed. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for Akuchi. I went to her hut and she's not there. So I'm waiting to see when she will come back. If she couldn't come back today, she could still come back tomorrow. Eh? Do not bother your head over her. After all, she didn't tell you where she was going before she left. Imagine waiting for her under this room. I will wait for her to come back. It's raining. Let us go inside. Yes. I said I will wait for her. My husband, the weather is so cold. I want to find warmth in your hands. What? What's to be cold? I'll tell you I'm waiting for a good chair. It's terribly cold. Under this rain? I'll wait for her. I said I should stop greeting you. Your mother actually told you that? Yeah, she said you're an evil woman. Masi said that? Okay. Let the gods judge. Drowning this boy. Wicked woman. 
Hey, Did you hear that? No, no, no. You know you're not telling the truth now, Nai. What would I get by killing a boy I love like my own son? I love him so much. Hey! I love him! You don't love him! You hate him! That is why you want to kill him! So that I'll be childless like you! Am I the one that made you barren? Mm. Eh? Mm. Barren woman! I could have disappointed. Very disappointed. Hey! I didn't know you, you, you had such a, a heart, a heart to do such a thing, let alone attempted it. No, no, I did not. I did not. What would I get by killing him? I did not. The gods will bear me witness. I did not. Then let the gods come to your defense because I will flog you until you bleed all over. I'm ready to swear by the gods. Lie down! And you be gonna... With the strength of a thousand men and the heart of a lion, 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 the gods won't make mistakes. They will enthrone the original but not the fake. It is fate, so take your place. For the gods have chosen you, Igolo. Igolo, the chosen one, take your place, drive away the enemies. Igolo, 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 Chosen one, the chosen one, you will conquer. Aye. You will take over. Aye. You are the victor. Aye. You can win Mary. You will conquer. Aye. You will take over. Aye. You are the victor. Aye. Good morning. Good morning. It appears you are sharpening your mind to readiness to go to the farm. That's my darling Sike. My darling Sike. I hope all is well. Um, all is well, but um, not very well. Uh, please, all, is it, all, all, all is well, but not very well. Mm. Um, what kind of radio is that? Ogu, please, is your sister here? My sister? Mm. You mean Akuchi, my sister? Mm. Mazda no Sike, what kind of question is that? My sister is supposed to be in your house. Mm, that is true. Um, but she left, she left home since yesterday morning and has not returned. So I came to see if uh, she's here. Um, you mean she did not tell you where she was going when, before she left the house? No, she did not tell me. She did not tell me where she was going to. She just left. Hmm. <sighs> Mazda no Sike, as you can see, she's not here. But let me warn you, Mazda no Sike. Should anything happen to my sister, my only sister, I will not take it lightly with you. Go and fetch my sister, Madame Lusike. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Like 
Masi accused me that I attempted to draw her son in the river. Ogu one name, I did not do it. But my husband wouldn't listen. He went inside, brought his skin and set a flog in me. The mean and city has the guts to lay his hands on you again? Oh no, 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 no. I'm coming. No, my son, Obina, confirmed it. Obina, yes. Obina lied against Obi me. Wait, Obina! Hey! Obina! Hey! Bring here, bring here. Stand here, stand here. Now, I want you to repeat exactly what happened to you. Tell me. By this morning, as I went to the stream to fetch water, I saw Big Mama at the corner of the river. Big Mama? Boy, who is Big Mama? Yeah. Good. I, I greeted her and went to the stream to fetch water. As soon as I bent down, she ran after me and dragged me to the bottom of the river. Hey! And dragged me to the bottom of the river. She said that she would kill me. That she would kill me that I stopped greeting her. She said Go she on! I stopped greeting her. That she said she would kill me that I stopped greeting her. Then I tried to struggle to get to get her close. And suddenly my mother came to my rescue. Did you hear that? Chima! Did you hear that, Obi? Obina, you lied against me. But that was true. Hey! Didn't I catch you in the act? Masi! Evil, wicked woman! Masi! Did I cause your barrenness? Ask your chief. Ah. Oh! You heard it! Ah. You heard it directly from my son! That was what happened! He lied against me! He did not lie! My brother, it is a conspiracy! He lied! I did not do it! I did not do you it! You did it! I did not! We can't I'm a seeker! I'm a seeker! Uh. Let me sound it as a note of warning! Let this be the last time you will lay your hand on my sister. Whatever she does, but report to me directly. And I will caution her myself. Ogu! So you left your house, came to my compound to warn me that I should wait until your wicked, evil, barren sister kills my only son before reporting to you, isn't it? Ogu, you've overstayed your welcome here. Leave my house. Leave my compound right now! I should leave your house. Leave my compound right I now. should leave your house. Leave my compound! It's okay. But let me tell you, should anything happen to my sister, should anything happen to my sister, you will not go free. I don't know. It's alright. Let me get this heart to take care of you. Akuchi, so you reported me to your brother after you tried to kill my son by drowning him in the river. You still had the guts to report me to your brother. Huh? Wicked woman. I would Mercy! Mercy! Bring me the cane! You can run, but you won't hide. Bring me the cane! Should anything happen to my sister? My holy sister! I, Odu, will make life more miserable for you.
You mean you went to their house and she was not there? My body came now. I was there. I got to the house, met the brother, Ogu, who told me she was not in the house. And as we speak, I do not know where else to look for her. I'm confused, totally confused. All right. I will take you somewhere. He is a very great seer. And he will be able to tell us how we are about. Go in and get dressed. <laughs> that man is great. have waited hundred years for this and now that you have fulfilled the promise you made to me in your first life I shall open your womb and you shall conceive the child you shall bear afterwards shall be strong 
am feared for I Okuku shall possess it Your wife embarked on a journey to a far land to seek a solution for her inability to conceive. And uh, where could that be? That the gods wouldn't tell me. Wise one. When will she be coming back? As we speak, she's already on her way back. Really? <laughs> yes, she might even get home before you. She will conceive now and bear you a child. Treat her kindly. Akuchi, <laughs> bear me a child. Thank you very much, Ikiri. Thank you. Thank you, wise man. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on, Ikiri. Hold on. Going back from market, I went to a brother's house to give Masi what she asked me to get for her. <laughs> Guess who I saw? Who did you see? Ah, coach. They said she came back this morning. Here. Yeah. I am aware of it. What? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But you didn't tell me. It wasn't necessary. I didn't consider it necessary. Okay, where did she say she went to since She yesterday? did not say. She did it. And the Yabura just took it like that. <laughs> what do you expect? I know she get to do. Hey. Eh? What matters is uh, Akuchi is back. And that is what matters. Okay, I just said let me tell you. But I don't know you knew already. Mm, it's okay. By the way, what about the children that went with you to the night? They are in your brother's place, playing with Obina. Okay, okay. You can go inside and let me complete this. Go, go to the back of the house. Oh. You're welcome. Nani, oh. Nani, oh. Why do you want to see her when she doesn't want to tell you anything when she came back in the morning? So she must have been very tired from her journey. So she needs some rest. I'm sure when she's properly rested, then we can talk. Huh? Why are you bothering yourself? Well, whatever she has to say does not matter anymore. The best thing is for you to send her back to wherever she is coming back from. Why do you say so? Because she could be coming from another man's house. After all, you searched for her in her father's house. She was not there. In her maternal home, she wasn't there. So where could she be? Marcy, 
let me tell you something. I know Akuchi very well. The last thing you can accuse Akuchi of is adultery. Akuchi, that I know, cannot cheat on me. Don't forget she's my wife. Your wife? Yes, my wife. Uh -huh. Come on, sit down. Thank you, man. So, how are you? I'm fine. I noticed you were very tired, so I had to let you have your rest. So when you're properly rested, so we can, we can talk. Thank you. Hmm? So tell me, how was your journey? My journey? Could you please stop pretending? Just stop pretending. Listen. I know you went in search of solution to your inability to... Akuchi, there are certain things, we must not say everything. There are certain things we, we shouldn't even say. Huh? Because we understand. So tell me, I hope you went well. And that you're fine now, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> So that means uh, <laughs> we can have as many babies as uh, as we want, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm happy. You know, it's always good to <laughs> when you eat from here, you eat from here. Eh? It has a way of uh, suiting the body, making the body look good. <laughs> so come, 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 uh, come. Tonight is your night, eh? So you go into the hut, my hut, and wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourself and wait for me. <laughs>
Urema. Urema. Where is this one? Urema. Going out. Yes, I am going to the palace. The palace. Yes. The palace is so not to go to death. <laughs> Listen, Igwe summoned my brother and I, so we need to go and find out why he's calling us. But then I have to eat before going. Hmm? I'm almost done at the kitchen. Give me some minutes. Let me get your food, please. Bam 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 bam. The food can wait. Huh? My brother must have dressed up now. I don't want to keep him waiting. Huh? I don't want to keep him waiting. Please, when I come back, I can take the food. I assure you, we won't be long. It's a brief meeting, I believe. Okay, if you insist. But please, mind what you say at the palace. Please, Biko, Dim Biko, no? Yes, listen. I appreciate your concern, my wife. Hmm? I appreciate. But I am no longer a kid. I pick my words and use them wisely. Hmm? Uh, meanwhile, if Okechuku comes back, tell him to go to Ugiri's place and get me a keg of palm wine. I have already paid for it. Okay, I will. I have to go, go well, Lou. Thank you. Eh? Let, me, cool. let me go. Hmm? Be careful. Yeah, hmm? I noticed that you did not partake in the call I presented. What are your reasons? Well, uh, Kukaria, um... point of correction. Anosike, you should address him as your royal majesty yes. and not by his name. He sits on the throne of the Hyoma kingdom as your king. Anosike, ah! This is wrong. Well, hello, Siki. Go on. Well, like I was saying before, I was uh, rudely interrupted. Um, I'm not feeling too well. But well, that's why. I do not want to eat cola. Same with me. All right. Um, let me go straight to, to my reason for inviting you to this palace. I noticed that um, since after my coronation, the two of you, you have never visited this palace. You've never had a cozy call here, and you have never attended any of our palace meetings. Is there anything the matter? No, no, no. It's just that I've been very busy. That's why. Busy indeed. Do you think we don't know why you have been avoiding the palace? You were angry that His Majesty Igwe Akukaria was eventually crowned. Uh, the king of Ihioma Kingdom, after all. Would you respect your majesty? If you do not control this mad dog, I will be forced to leave this palace. Please, control this mad dog. Anosike, you call me a dog? The prime minister of the throne of Ihioma Kingdom, you call me a dog? 
Did I hear you say Prime Minister? Prime Minister of this kingdom? Well, I, I'm not equal Umaja, does not recognize you as such. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Anosike. Please, I expect you to accord me my due respect. Your Majesty, with due respect, I do not have any intention uh, to disrespect you. But I demand an unreserved apology from Anosike for calling me a dog. It is an insult to my person and uh, to the throne that I represent as the Prime Minister of this kingdom. What, what, what is this? Well, frankly speaking, Anosike, it is wrong for you to call him a dog in my presence and in my palace too. You have to apologize to him. Hmm. Would you respect your mother? I can do any other thing other than apologize to this mad dog. Because he's a mad dog. That's, you are a mad dog. Yes. Uh -huh. That's what you are. You better do You better do here. You are mad dog. And you will live. Control your wife, or else she'll be charged with obstructing the order of his royal majesty. Oh, yeah. And you know the punishment for that is banishment from this kingdom. You are not going anywhere. Uh, um, um, let them go with the goat. <laughs> let them go with the goat. <laughs> you are not taking this goat. Well, man, it's okay. Ah, leave them, let them go. Now you know. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Give them. Now I'll go. Let them go. Let them go. It's a thing. I thought I explained to you what happened in the palace. Eh? Now you told me it was your brother who insulted the prime minister. Why would they punish you with instead of punishing him again? Eh? Because I was with him in the palace and couldn't make him apologize to the prime minister. Eh? Listen, my dear wife. It is only our goats they took, not our lives. Uh -uh. Let them go with the goats. Let them go. Yet, it doesn't change the fact that we do not recognize Okwadike as the prime minister of this kingdom or Akokalia as the king either. Let me tell you. That throne belongs to our family and we must get it back at all costs. Let me advise you like a good wife. I want you and your brother to forget about that throne. Nani, I want you to take it bravely as the will of the gods in all the effort to bring it back. You still lost it to Akokaria. Any further attempts to challenge Akokaria or to contest for the throne, you might lose your life. I don't want to turn to a widow. Be Kokwa. Please. Oh, and then, uh, and then Why do you always like to stress yourself each time I come this city? And then, uh, because you are my elder sister, my only sister. Hmm. Remember, I promised our late parents. 
to always take care of you. Hey, little brother, taking care of the big sister. Oh, don't forget, I'm still the man here. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, then, uh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. When you deliver this child, I will kill a leopard for you. No, I don't want a leopard. You kill a lion for me. Lion? Yes. I, I'll kill the lion, I don't know. I'll kill it for you. <laughs> oh, by the way, which meat is this? Uh, this is uh, antelope meat. Ah, it's not good for me. I'll have prolonged uh, labor. It is good for you. <laughs> eat it, eat it, eat it. I'll have prolonged labor. I'll eat it. That land is by book watch. Tomorrow, I'll get laborers to work on it. Please, don't over labor yourself. Don't go there and walk. Hey, you cannot. Please. 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 What? Wife. What is this? Why are you rushing down this night? My wife Akuchi is in labor. Urema. Urema, please, please, hold up. My wife Akuchi. She's in labor. In labor? What? Yes. This night? Urema, please don't get to Hey. Yes, please. Hey. Couldn't you have sent your son to command? Please. Huh? Please hold How are they? How are they? How is she? They're okay. Hey. Maybe it's the song you are expecting that is coming. Well, I hope so. Just take it easy, my brother. Take it easy. It Urema, is... hurry up. And please, hurry up, hurry up. And would you want me to follow you to get Urema come for she? Urema, hurry up. And pushing and pushing, but we have not had the cry of the baby. Abam, let me ask you. Did you remember to pour libation to the ancestors, asking them for their assistance? I poured libation. I almost emptied one full bottle of shnab. In fact, I did a whole lot of other things. I went as far as making promises that I'm praying to the gods to help me fulfill. Ah, okay. If that is so, then there is assurance that nothing will go wrong. She will surely deliver that child. <laughs> she will. She will. You say? Ah. Let us sit down. Hey, come and sit down. Push, push, try, push. I just need one more push, one more push. The baby said it's out. Push, push, try, try one more. Push, I need one more push. Try, push, 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 push. The baby says it's coming. Try, try once more. Just one more push. One more push. Push! One more push. Let me say this out. Push! 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 Another son. So, 
to open that. May the gods be praised. Hey! Hey! We thank them. <laughs> Where do I start from? <laughs> hey, a son, another son. Another one. Oh, is it the gods that told you? I knew it. Urema, go, 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 go. Urema, so tell me, how is my son? Hey, girl. You have a daughter now. Again. So, how is my wife? How is she? She couldn't make it. Akuchi, 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 Yeren. Mazikena and Madame Sike. I'm surprised to see both of you this late hour. To what do I owe this visit? Ogu, please, can you put that gun away so that I can tell you why we have come? You are scared of the gun? Not really. Just that we are not comfortable with it. Please, take it away so that we can tell you why we have come. Okay. I'll put it away. Uh -huh. As you can see, I have put the gun away. Please sit down. It is not necessary. We are just fine. So, why are you here this late hour? It's about your sister, Akuchi. My sister, Akuchi. What about her? Hmm. Ogu, you have to be a man. Hold yourself together. 
Azike now? I, I don't understand you. Of course I'm a man. There is nothing the eyes will see and they will shed blood. And nothing the ears will hear and go deaf. Your sister, Akochi. She's dead. Oh my God! Akochi! She died a few hours ago while giving birth and we thought it wise to come and tell you immediately since you are her only surviving relative. Akuchi. Akuchi. Take her. Be a man and hold yourself together. So what about the child? She's alive and very healthy. She? A girl? Yes. A girl. Mazike and Maza no Sike. I'm surprised to see both of you this late hour. To what do I owe this visit? Ogu, please, can you put that gun away so that I can tell you why we have come? You are scared of the gun? Not really. Just that we are not comfortable with it. Please, take it away so that we can tell you why we have come. Okay. I'll put it away. Uh, as you can see, I have put the gun away. Please sit down. It is not necessary. We are just fine. So, why are you here this late hour? It's about your sister, Akuchi. My sister, Akuchi? What about her? Hmm. Ogu, you have to be a man. Hold yourself together. <laughs> As you can now, I, I don't understand you. Of course I'm a man. There is nothing the eyes will see and they will shed blood. And nothing the ears will hear and go deaf. Your sister, Akochi, is dead. Oh my God! Akochi! She died a few hours ago while giving birth and we thought it wise to come and tell you immediately since you are her only surviving relative. Akuchi. Akuchi. Take her. Be a man and hold yourself together. So what about the child? 
she's alive and very healthy. She? A girl? Yes. A girl. She's as beautiful as her mother. So sad. Aguchi! 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 Sad news. It is a pity for Anna Sikin. I feel for him. The worst thing that can happen to a man is to lose his wife at childbirth. Whenever he sees that child, he remembers the ugly incident. Well, despite the fact that he has grudges and grievances over this castle and my throne. We will send him a condolence message and some gifts too. Your Majesty, that's good of you. You are most kind. Nobody would believe you return good for evil. At least I know CK will understand that you don't hurt him. Despite his hatred for you, I thank you so much. I am willing now to be among the delegates of the condolence visit. Your Majesty, the gods we keep and preserve you for this kind gesture. It's not every man or even king that can do this type of gesture you have done. I thank you so much for this. And I'll be willing to be among the delegates to go for this condolence visit. Oh, you're yeah, welcome. Let's see. Okay. You yeah. haven't said anything. <clears throat> because I don't have anything to say. Why? All what I want to say is that I don't want to be part of the delegation to Anosiki's house. But we are talking about death here, you know. Why not bury your differences with him and then lead this delegation? Igwe. Yes. Everyone knows that Anna Sike hates me with passion. So I will be the most stupid man to go to Anna Sike's house when I know that Anna Sike can attack me physically or even poison me. Igwe, I don't want to defy your orders. But for the sake of my life, please don't send me to Anosike's house. I don't want to die. Your Majesty. Yes. If his spirit does not encourage him to go, then allow him. Agukwe and I can go for the dedication. That's my humble suggestion. If he doesn't want to go, we can go. Mm hmm. <clears throat> um, our people say after eating cola, you present your reason of visit. We are here on a godless visit over your bereavement to sympathize with you for the death of your wife. It is true that sorry does not heal a wound but an encouragement to the one that is hot. We ask you to take heart over your loss. The gods will protect the child she left behind and give you wisdom and provision for the upbringing. His Majesty Igwe Akokaria, whom we are representing, offer this gift to you. And he is really sorry over your loss. 
Thank you very much, Omar. I'll go quick. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate this condolence visit. Your words are very encouraging and they are suited as well. Whereas for these gifts, I'm afraid I cannot accept them. I don't need them. Please. Um, Anosike, traditionally, it is wrong for the bereaved to reject a condolence gift from his king's men. How much more this one that has come from our traditional ruler? You see, if we take this uh, gift back to him, um, he will not be happy. He will feel insulted. And moreover, he will feel you are still begrudging him over the throne. My brother, try and consider it. Aguko, I'm afraid I cannot. I cannot. And you cannot force a man to accept what he does not want. No, you cannot. Like I said earlier, I appreciate this conference message. And your words are very encouraging. But as for these gifts, I don't want them. If you cannot take it back to him, you can keep it. But I do not need this gift. I know this will happen. Uh, that was why I declined being part of the delegation to Anosike's house. Anosike doesn't have a forgiving heart. He is mean. And the best thing for such people is to ostracize them from the rest subjects of this kingdom. My king is an insult to you. <laughs> and if I were you, I will not take it lightly with Anosike at all. But it is true that Anosike has taken his grudges too far. But I can't hate him for that. Two people cannot be mad at the same time. It is in his nature to keep malice. But mine is to forgive whatever wrong one has done to me. It is my goodwill to the people of this kingdom that has earned me this throne. Yes. I didn't steal it, nor did I snatch it from him as he claims. But I believe that one day the gods of our land will touch him and he will see to reason. You say so, my king. His Majesty, the Queen said your food is ready. Okay, I'll be with her shortly. Okay, your Majesty. Well, as you go, you will take that goat. Oh, the goat? Yes. Uh -huh. I have given out the yam and the pan wine to Aguku and Anna, who returned from Anosike's house. Oh, thank you, thank you, my king. It is not my intention to keep any of these returned items. Oh. <laughs> thank you, my dear Majesty. Yes. Thank you. I, I want to go and have my lunch. Would you join me? Oh, thank you very much, Your Majesty. I just had mine before I started coming here. Uh, thank okay. you. Okay, let me go then. But expect the goat. I will wait for the goat here. I will wait for it. He will. My brother, it's been some time now since your wife was buried. And your child has been with us since her mother died. I want to know your plans for this child. Because she should be staying with her father.
My brother, you can. You are absolutely very correct. She is supposed to be with me in her father's house. But I'm afraid. I'm very afraid to bring her to the house because of her mercy. My brother came now. Masi hated Akuchi so much. She hated Akuchi with a passion while Akuchi was alive. So much so that I'm afraid to bring Igolo back home. That I don't think Masi will be willing to look after Akuchi's child. That is my problem. It's rather too unfortunate. But what are you saying now? My brother, please, I beg of you. Give me some time. Give me some time to think about what to do. But in the meantime, let her remain here with you. While I try to talk to Marcy, see if I can get to convince her to take care of the child. Please, I beg of you. I beg of you, my dear brother. Well, anything for a brother. You're my brother. And besides, my wife is not complaining. All I wanted to know was your plan for the, for the child. Is that not okay? Eh? And in queue. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Okay, boy. Uh -huh. They've grown so big. Children of these days, uh -huh. they have very rapid growth. Uh -huh. <laughs> very soon, your daughter will grow to become a woman and get married as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I sincerely do wish that the gods will keep me alive to see that day. What are you saying? <laughs> are you looking forward to dying soon? Huh? Dying? With all the beautiful maidens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I thought as much. <laughs> Come, my brother. That name you gave to your daughter, mm. it suits her looks. Oh. Igolo, the pretty one. Beautiful name. <laughs> you should know your brother, I will see you that I love beautiful things. I do, I, eh? I do. Look at our coochie. Mm. Oh, blessed memory. Senior Igolo. And then look at Massey. Massey. Eh? They are pretty things. Then you, then you look at both of them. Then you know the kind of taste that you I have. You have taste that for I beautiful love women. Home. Right from the outset. <laughs> <laughs> that was why I named her Igolo. The pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> A sweet name indeed. That's a wonderful name. Massey. In a few days, my daughter Igolo will be circumcised and I intend to bring her back to her father's house. And as a woman, it will be your responsibility to take care of her when she eventually comes here. Take care of her coach's child? Masi, Akuchi would do the same thing for your son if you were the one dead. So what is wrong with you doing that? <laughs> but unfortunately, I am not the one the dead chose. Listen, Anosike, if you don't have any good plan for your child, better leave her where she is because I won't have her time. Masi, what kind of human being? What kind of human being are you? Why are you so heartless? Do you know if that girl grows into a woman and eventually gets married, you will be the one to benefit? Because if she gets to have her own child, it is you and not me that will go for the Omuwa. Do you realize that? Really? Your preaching cannot change any decision of mine. It's your child. If you want to bring her home, it's your business. But all I am saying is that I won't have time to take such burden. Do 
Masi. 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 How many times did I call you? Three times. Don't push me. Don't push me, Masi. Don't push me into taking another wife. Because I will not hesitate to do it. A wife that will take care of her. <laughs> If you want to bring in hundred wives, it's up to you. I already have a son and I will always be the head. So, do not threaten me. Another wife indeed. Maybe she does not know that a lot of ladies are there. A whole lot of them. Beautiful men. Ogo one name. I want you to do me a favor. I don't want Mercy to train my child because she will maltreat her. I want you to train my child for my spirit to rest in peace here. She is destined for greatness. And you alone can guide her to achieve it. Go. Go, my brother. Go and take Igolo. Go and take Igolo from Anosike. Go. Go. See, this request of yours to take my daughter Igole away from me, I find it very difficult to accept. She's my child. She's my daughter. She's my father. And I can take care of her. Yes, I can. I am not saying that you cannot take care of her. But my sister has been disturbing me. She even appeared to me in my dream yesterday night. She said her spirit will know no peace unless I help her raise the child. Taking Igolo does not mean that you can no longer see her. She's your daughter. And you are free to come see her whenever you wish. When she's fully grown, I will turn her back to you, the father. But Ogu, Igolo is just a little baby. How can you take care of a little baby? You're not a woman. It is only women that can take care of babies. Besides, you are not married. You don't have a wife. My sister believes so much in me. That is why she handed me such responsibility. And I believe her spirit will be around to guide me. Mm. It's all right, I heard you. But I need some time to think about it. I really need to think about it. I've heard you, Marzen Osike. But I want you to understand that a promise is a debt. And I will want to fulfill the promise I made to my late sister to avoid and cure the rot of her spirits. I will take my leave, Mazen Osike. I'll be back in the next two market days.
Say he wants to take care of that child. Exactly. That's what he said. That he wants to take the child. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. But he doesn't have a wife. What does he know about taking care of babies? Ask me, my dear brother. And I pointed that out to him. But he insisted. He insisted on keeping the child. Honestly, brother, I don't see it wise. Allowing Ogu to keep that child. Does he think you are not capable of taking care of your own baby or what? Ikeno, do you know the excuse he gave? The excuse he gave was that he wants to keep the promise he made to his sister, Akuchi. And that is why he wants to keep the, keep the child. Well, if you ask me, hmm. That child belongs to you. You want to keep that child? Good. You want Ogu to keep their child? Okay. But if I were you, brother, I am not allowing anybody to take that child from me. I will keep that child and raise that child up in my own house. That's my candidate. Good. your food very soon. Igolo, the less all right. Go soon get home, I'll get to your food. It's okay, it's okay. Igolo, it's okay. 
I know you're hungry. Be a brave hunter. Grasshopper. Igolo. Papa. The grass cutter you brought from this evening was a very big one. You have really improved in your hunting skill. I'm so happy about it. Thank you, Papa. Soon I will still go deep in the forest. And kill Lopard and deers like you. I believe you, my dear. I believe you. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. But, Papa, do you permit me to take the heart and liver of the animal I killed to the king? Like I always do. Sure, why not? You killed it. And you have the right to give your kill to whosoever you desire. Thank you, Papa. Igolo. Papa. Why do you always give the heart and the liver of every animal you kill to the king? I don't know either. Just follow what my spirit directs me to do. Your spirits? Yes, Papa. That spirit that is directing you must have a purpose. But I pray it's a good one. Okay. Just imagine my little girl of yesterday now growing to become one of the greatest hunters of Iyama Kingdom. <laughs> Papa, thank you. Go low. Papa. Go low. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so, so proud of you. Thank you. So
Akuchi, my beloved sister. I know you could be standing over there. I know Sikyo wants Ikuno back. He threatened to take her by force to Mr. Memphis. What do I do? Tell me. Proverb says that if you eat cola not, you present your reasons for visit. Um, I brought uh, a keg of uh, palm wine. Uh, to inform you and announce to my fellow elders, that my first daughter, married by Okeke, gave birth to a baby boy. Ah. <laughs> ah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you. 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 I will, Your Majesty. Dad! <laughs> get me three pan wine cups. And make sure you get my special cup for pan wine. Be fast. Our oh, gods are good. Oh, yes, yes. After them, the gods are wise. <laughs> and as we celebrate with you, yes. we wish you more grandchildren. You see? You see? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. That's it. Pass them into this, my, my cup for me. Let me test and see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <coughs> this is fresh and sweet. Yes, so Who tapped to this? Um, your Majesty, his name is Ugebe. Ugebe? Yes, so. Oh, I have a place and order for a keg yes. from you. Oh, thank you. I know Ugebe, a very good amount of Yes, this is interesting. Okay. His wine is sweet and non diluted. Okay, yes. that's beautiful. <laughs> yes. Uh. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, my elders. Thank Welcome. you, my great, my brave hunter. I brought the heart and liver of the animal I killed in hunting. It is a big one. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, my daughter. Um, God, please take this straight to my wife. Tell her to prepare pepper soup with it immediately. And as you come back, please tell her to give you that necklace I kept on the table there. Be fast. Oh. This girl is very good. She has always brought to me the heart and liver of every animal she killed. She said, it is my right as the king of this kingdom to have them. And I'm pleased with that. She knows the tradition. Yes. Come. Um, Come. 
this is my royal blessing to you. You say, you say may the gods of our land improve your skill in killing animals. You say, you say, Thank you, Your Majesty. Let me take my leave. Go, my daughter. <laughs> the royal blessing. Your Majesty, I am whose daughter is that? Oh, you don't know her. Ah, she's the daughter of uh, Ogu. I mean Ogu, the great hunter. The great hunter. Yes. Okay. Ah, like father, Ooh, like daughter. Like daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ooh, and she has received a royal blessing. <laughs> I am becoming very fond of her. I wish she were my own. I don't know why the gods have not given me any child of my own. The gods are not fair to me at all. No, the gods shall do it. The gods are wise. Obina! Obina! Papa! Are these not the clothes I brought out for you to take to the stream this morning to wash before leaving home? Uh, Papa, after sweeping the compound, I lost strength. So, I'll wash them tomorrow, Papa. You will wash them tomorrow? And what are you doing right now? I'm resting. I just finished having my lunch. Will you get over that place and take this clothes and go to, to, to the stream and wash them right now? Uh, Papa, I, I just told you I don't have the strength now. Eh? Tomorrow or next tomorrow, even next week, I'll wash them, Papa. Are you out of your mind, Obina? Are you out of your mind? I'm telling you what to do and you're telling me what you want to do it. Are you mad? Huh? Are you mad? Papa, Tell what is it? I heard your voice from the bathroom. Can you imagine this joke? These are the clothes I bought up, bought up for, for him this morning to take to the stream to wash. I came back to still find them here. And I'm telling this idiot to take them right now to the stream and wash them. And he's telling me he's going to do it tomorrow. Huh? Hi! Papa Bina, is that why you are shouting as if the boy did a bad thing? <laughs> yeah? Mas it's a simple matter. Since he said he doesn't have strength to wash this clothes today, why don't you leave it tomorrow? Good. Mama, tell him, oh. Tell him. Masi, are you supporting him? It's not that I'm supporting him. But the boy just told you when he will have the strength to wash your clothes. Why don't you understand with him? You are the one spoiling this boy. You are the one spoiling this idiot. Do you know this boy cannot make three ridges a day in the farm? While his mates out there make as much as 50, some make even a hundred ridges a day in the farm. All he knows how to do is sit down at home and eat my food. You have taught him to become lazy. The both of you will suffer it when the time comes. Hey, you will both it's suffer it. It's you that will suffer it. Anosike, it's you that will suffer it. By the way, Anosike, let me ask you. Is Sobrina the only child you have? Why don't you go and get the one you dashed to Oku? Eh? Obina, my son will not die doing all the domestic work in this house. Is she not old enough to come back and wash your clothes? Please, Anasike, leave my son alone. Leave my son alone, Anasike. Nonsense. My son, please, come and have some rest. Beloved brother, thank you. Thank you for keeping to your promise to me. I also want to thank you for training my child till she has become this little woman she is now. But I still want you to do me one more favor. Anosike will soon come to claim her. Please. Do not release her to Anosike. 
Do not release her to him until I tell you it is the right time. Do not release her to him. You are welcome. Oh, you saw me. Mazana Sike. I am a hunter. And you know hunters have eyes even at their backs. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I like that. The hunters even have eyes at their backs. You always need to be at their alert. Smart one. <laughs> so tell me, Ogu, how are you faring? Mazano Sike. I felt well. <laughs> it's been a long time since you came to this place. Yes, uh, a lot of things kept me away from coming here. But I'm here now. But what could keep a man for so long that you cannot even come to see his daughter? Remember the last time you came here was 14 years ago, when she was barely three. Oh. Well, that is true. Uh, but uh, let us see that as uh, a mistake and keep it aside. Mm -hmm. Talk about the reason I am here. Uh, if you say so. Oh, don't you offer visitors a seat in your house? Oh, Mazano Siki, don't mind my manners. Oh. <coughs> uh, Mazano Siki, oh. I am sorry I don't have cola not in the house. Oh. Um, because I've not gone been to the market of late. <laughs> Uh, but I have some dry meat inside there. Mm -mm. Do you mind? Mm -mm. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, Mazan mm? what is it you said we are going to discuss? I've come for us to discuss about Igolo. I've come to take her back. And I thank you so much for all your effort, time, and every other thing you put into raising her. May the gods reward you abundantly. Mazano Sike. If your reason of coming here today is to take Igolo, it will not work. How do you mean? Ogu. Ogu, yes. how do you mean? I am her father. And I have every right to take her whenever I want to take her back. What do you make her, what do you mean by it will not work? Yes, you are her father. I know. But she doesn't know you as a real father. I am the father she knows. Because it has been a long time you saw her. If you want to take a Golo, you must give me some time to talk to her. Besides, you don't come empty-handed. Madam Sike, you know the tradition.
well, my, uh, my elders. Well, you can see we have Koma here. Well, in the next four days, we're going to have our New Year festival. And normally, before the festival proper, we usually have a contest, a wrestling contest. Oh, yes. And we invite other wrestlers from other kingdoms. Last year, a wrestler from Momoaka Kingdom took the coveted prize of a fat goat. And that brought shame to us. Well, how prepared are we this year? <coughs> um, Your Majesty. Yes. I believe they will not disappoint us this time. They have been training seriously for it, mm -hmm. and the more youths are joining the training. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yes, that's good. Um, I just want to get this information because I want to present the fattest cow in this kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For this very competition, <laughs> and I wouldn't want us to lose it out at all. <laughs> at all, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Your Majesty, yeah. yes, yes. I wish it were still when we were youths, full of energy and strength. I remember a particular season when I broke the back of Indica the cart. <laughs> oh, quite oh, quite quite oh, quite <laughs> Greatest wrestler from a kingdom. <laughs> the entire kingdom roared in jubilation because no one has defeated him for many, many years. Mm. <laughs> I wish that we can just turn back the hands of time. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <quite> <laughs> <dike>. <laughs> But uh, I wish one of your, your children should have taken after you. Your son, Ibe, was defeated uh, last year with ease. Um, uh, perhaps. <laughs> He's a son after his mother, mother. not of his father. father. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, <laughs> let's hope they'll make us proud this time. Because... Um, I want to make this year's festival a carnival instead. Where's Obina? Obina, your calling is not around. Oh, has he left for the farm already? What farm? Obina went for wrestling parties. Go for what? Wrestling parties? Obina and I tried to get the basket and hose and other things we need to go to the farm to harvest yams. Went to where? Wrestling parties? Your brother's student came here and he left with them. Every youth of this village wants to participate in this year's contest because the king presented a big prize for the contest. Oh, really? Bring that chair for me. Bring it here. All being under the told to prepare so we can go to the farm. Left, I go to the farm to go to the farm. Keep that chair here. Keep it here. No, I take it easy. Eh? Listen, let me tell you something. You Massive. And, uh, I will wait for him to come back anytime, be it in the night or in the midnight. He will surely go to the farm to have those yams. Nine, take it easy. He will. If he does not have those yams, I will have his head. He can. Oh, oh. Huh. brother. I meet you well. Yes. You're welcome. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Uh, how are you? This is your calabash of white looks. Uh, uh, it looks uh, epic. <laughs> and how is your family? Well, okay, and yours? Very well. You're always looking good. Well, 
you know I dress well and look good because I might meet a maiden on my way. <laughs> you are maiden, sir. <laughs> um, do you mind joining me in this, sir? If you ask this question next time, <laughs> go to the car. Please bring a, a call for my brother, eh? Quickly. Uh, oh, how are you? Fine, sir. How are the children? We are fine. Good, good. Um, uh, let me hold this thing. Let me pour. shake it. Pour it. Shake it. Pour it. Shake it very well. I want to ask you. Is it that you support the idea of your son going for that? Is it wrestling contest or practice or whatever? My brother, I never gave my support, but this boy insisted. He said other youths in the community are going and that he will not be left out. I had to allow him. <laughs> Do you know my stupid son, Obina? Abandoned. They have vesting of yams we were supposed to do in the farm. Okay. To go for that wrestling practice. The stupid wrestling practice. That is terrible. I was told that Akokalia brought out a very enticing prize. Hmm. And that he is making this new yam fest we are to look special. Hmm. Like a carnival. And that is why they are all contesting. He can, uh, if he likes, <laughs> let him turn into a jumper. <laughs> let him turn into mm. whatever. No son of Obaja mm. or our own children will participate or partake in that contest. I agree with you. Because yes. we will not celebrate with a man who took what belongs to us. Never. No, we will not. Never. It will not happen. We will celebrate it in our usual way. Among ourselves and with our families, as usual. Hmm? Um, that reminds me. Hmm. Has Ogu brought back your daughter? Not yet. Uh, why? I want to give him some time until after the New Year festival, just like he requested. Hmm. So, uh, but um, why don't you allow her spend a festival with us in your house? And that would be better. Let her stay there for now. Meanwhile, this palm wine, eh? where did you get it from? Because it tastes different from the usual oh, yes, I, oh, yes. the usual words I, I have here. Yes, oh? It is from Ogebe. Mm. He is the best we have. His palm wines are unadulterated. No wonder. The taste is something else. That tells the story. Of course. <laughs> Please, shake it again and give me some I want extra. <laughs> shake it and give me some more. <laughs> and make sure you don't finish it. Tonight, <laughs> tonight is the <laughs> Mercy is the trouble. Papa. Mm -hmm. I heard this coming wrestling contest is going to be a big event. Bigger than the previous one. Yes, of course, Sigelo. And we will attend both of them. At least to feed our eyes with others. But is the king going to give out the big cow as he promised to the winner of the wrestling contest? Why not? He has been doing so ever since he became the king. The previous one was a goat and this one is a cow. <laughs> Igolo. Even if it is an elephant, the king will fulfill his promise. I have always known the king to be a man of his ways. Mm. But Papa, are girls allowed to participate in the contest? Igelo. Papa. Why do you ask? Just curious. Well. The wrestling contest is for men and not for girls. Thank you. Um, Igolo, um, I will give you the heart and the liver of the antelope I killed this morning so that you can take it to the king as usual. 
but it wasn't I that killed it. I give the heart and liver of the animal I killed myself to the king. Igolo, Papa. I said I am going to give you to give to the king. The king will not know you are not the one that killed the animal unless you decide to tell him. Hmm? Thank you. Good day, Her Majesty. My daughter, how are you? I'm fine. I brought something for the king. I hope he's around. Yes, he is, but um, he's resting in his inner chambers. Maybe I'll just take the package for him. I would have loved to see him. I have something to discuss with him. Igolo, you don't expect me to go and wake him up while he's resting. Hmm? So why don't you just give me the package? When he wakes up, I'll give it to him. And you can always come back later. You practically live here with us, don't you? Hmm? Okay. Tell him I'll come back. No problem. Ugeze. My king. Who is that? <laughs> Your little hunter girl. Okay, tell her to wait for me at the palace. You heard him. You said this is good. Okay. I got your package. This is bigger than the last one. What animal did you kill this time? It's a deer. A deer? But it wasn't I that killed it. My father did. Your father? Yes. I don't want to lie to you. He gave me the meat to bring for you. Oh, I see. So it is not only that you are brave, you are also honest and straightforward. This single art has earned you another gift. This time, a royal bracelet. It's beautiful. Just like you. <laughs> I love that necklace you're wearing. Each time I come to the palace, I couldn't help but stare at it. Oh, <laughs> um, it is meant for the kings of Iyama Kingdom. It's not an ordinary necklace. So, nobody is allowed to wear it except the king? Yes. No one else wears it except the king. I inherited it from my predecessor, and he inherited it from the kings before him. Hmm. I would love to hear it someday. Oh, if the gods will it. But never in the history of Idioma Kingdom as a woman ruled. Okay. I heard you presented a big cow for the wrestling contest. Mm -hmm. Are girls allowed to participate in the contest? No, 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 no. Women do not wrestle. It's just for men. And it's not just only for just men. It is for great men, not for children. All right. Just curious to know. Well, I'm happy you have known it today. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody saying wrestling is not for women but for men alone? I would have loved to participate. But I'm lucky. I will win the cow prize for my father. And the king will be proud of me. I wish I could turn to a man. Hmm. Mm -hmm. In your next life, I do not to meet you.
lights. Yes, I can fly. I can use my hunting skills to corner my opponents. Like dropping an animal and throw him down. Yes, I can fight. Hunting skills is different from wrestling skills. Besides, girls don't wrestle. Now go back inside and continue your studies. Enough of this area.
challenge you, Opo. I can't let it disgrace my people in their ground. What did you just say? A challenge? Do you realize what just happened here? I defeated the strongest man in your kingdom. Now let me give you a piece of advice. Run home to your mother and tell her that the great Obo just humbled your people. Yet the vessel says, if you are challenged, you must fight. It's only a coward. The torn down challenge in the wrestling ground. Don't tell me you're a coward, Obo. Obo is never a coward! Yes. Now, for the last time, I am telling you, it is better you wait till the night falls and the moon comes out then you can go and play with your mates enough igolo come with me now father i must challenge this man and win back the prize meant for our kingdom yeah. i can't let him disgrace our people on the ground do you want to die you go leave me do you want to die igolo you are neither a man or a wrestler. The challenge is not a wrestler. You have defeated the greatest wrestler of our kingdom. Father, I am already throwing a challenge. And the rule says if you throw a challenge, you must wrestle. Yes! That's the rule. If Opo refuses to fight with her, he loses his championship and the prize that comes with it. In that case, I will fight. But let it be known that after this fight, you will have no spinal cord. Okbo, it is true that the room will stand, but I beg you, please be soft on her. She is not your match. She is just a little stubborn girl. Please do me this favor to allow her back touch down gently and go back with your championship. She is my only daughter and I don't want anything to happen to her. Please Okbo. I understand. I am a father too. I will restore her with just one thing. Thank you, Obo. Because five will crush her. Obo, thank you. Thank you, Obo. Let the fight begin.
take another me to eat home. I can't finish this all alone. No, thank you. I'm okay. But please stay cold. The king said if I want any meat or anything, I should let him know. Eat. Okay, thank you. Don't mention. Igolo. Sir? It still baffles me how you defeated the boy, the greatest wrestler of four kingdoms. What really happened? Nothing. I think it is the will of the gods for him to be defeated. That's why they gave me the confidence to challenge him. I am now the champion of our great kingdom. Which earned you a title from the king as the hand of the king? Do you know the meaning? No. no. It is a title that is next to the king. A position that supersedes that of the prime minister. Papa, wait, wait, wait. are you serious? It is a title that is given to only the greatest warriors of our kingdom. So now, your daughter is now the bravest warrior of Ihio, my kingdom. <laughs> I hope you are proud of that. Yes, I am. But I'm scared. Because a lot of people might be offended seeing a little girl being bestowed with such an honorable title. I'm scared. But, but I saved your face from shame. I wish they would understand. They should. Papa, let's talk about what we use the prize I won for. Should you sell it? I mean, the fat cow. No. Nobody can afford it except the king because it is very expensive. Then we should sell it back to the king and use the money to take care of our safe. We don't need it. At least we kill animal in the forest every day. It is your prize of honor, my dear. Whatever you choose to do with it, I will not object. Then I'll see the king and I'll sell it back to him. Chosen one, that special one, the anointed one, a warrior, an inferior, but not a superior. With the strength of a thousand men and the heart of a lion, a lion, a lion. The gods won't make mistakes, they will enthrone. Original but not the fake. Shift. Sit down. Sit down. Nine. Sitting down here thinking will not bring her back. Just go to Ogo and tell him you want your daughter back. Let her come back. This is where she belongs. The title she holds will bring a lot of blessing to this family. And should anything happen to the king, she is the only one that has the power to choose who becomes the next king. This might just be the plan of the gods to return the throne robbed of your ancestors back 
to this family. You have to act now that there is still time. Just think about what I have just said. And I will become Ugeze and my son Obina, the heir apparent to the throne of Ihioma. <laughs> hey, where are you coming from? Your Majesty, I am not comfortable with that title you gave to that little girl. This title is an ancestral title that is given only to our bravest warriors who have gone through great battles and uh, not an honor to compensate a little girl just because she won in a wrestling contest by chance. It's unacceptable, Your Majesty. You have to have a rethink and revoke this title, Your Majesty. Revoke this title. Now listen. Battles come in different forms. That wrestling competition was a battle among three kingdoms. You were there when our greatest wrestler lost to Obo, the greatest wrestler from Ekwe Kingdom. This would have brought a great shame to us. But this little girl stepped out and saved us. She wiped our shame and tears and gave us victory. By that singular act, she has shown that she is a brave warrior, worthy of a great reward. There is no greater reward than the hand of the king. But do you realize that by giving that little girl that title, you have placed her way above the position of the prime minister of this kingdom? Myself! Myself! Igwe! Uh, way above the position of the prime minister! Now, do you know that only her reserves the right to endorse any new king, if anything unfortunately happens to you. Think about it, Your Majesty. It will not work. It will not work. Huh? This is a title that has been forgotten by our ancestors for so many years. Only for you to recall it. And abuse it at the same time by giving it to this little little brat that doesn't even know the meaning of the title. Majesty. What is it? No one else is complaining in this kingdom but you. Why? You should have been proud of the little girl by the fish she performed. And not even stand here to talk of revoking the decision that I took about her. May you live forever, Your Majesty. Greetings, Prime Minister. And you too, my hand of the king. Please sit down. Thank you. Your Majesty, I think I should leave this place this moment. But remember, we have to discuss about the New Year Festival. Uh, when the rest members of the council gather, we will discuss this better. Your, uh, well, that, Mm. 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 
what is the purpose of this uh, tomorrow of yams and chicken you brought to my house this evening? So, uh, like we discussed the last time, I have come to take my daughter Igolo back home. Yeah. And these items I brought as tradition demands to say thank you for helping me raise her up all these years. Mazano I remember the last time you came for this same purpose. Mm. I told you to give me some time. Yes, you did. So I that know. I would talk to her. Yes. I have not done that. So I wonder why all this rush of uh, taking back Igolo. Oh, I don't understand. What exactly are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is that I have not talked to her about it. Ogu, listen. Listen, Ogu. Let me tell you. I do not wish to make trouble with you. So please, kindly go in there now and bring out my daughter for me to go home with. Please. I have not got any instruction to do that. Instruction for who? From her mother, of course. Her mother? Which mother? Her dead mother, Akuchi. Listen, Ogu. 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 Just go in there and bring out my daughter. I want to go home with her. We'll go, go, go home with, with, with her now. Else! Else, Ogu! I swear, that was the Are you? Else! Papa, what is the matter? You don't know. Papa? There's no problem. We have a visitor. Okay. Uncle, good evening. Uh -huh. Good evening, my daughter. She calls me father and called you uncle. What is she don't even know you are. It does not matter. As are you father. Listen to me. Ogu, it does not matter. Whether she called you father and called me uncle, it doesn't matter. You better get the social for Makuchi. Because the next time I come here, I'm not leaving here without her. I will take her with me. Don't tell me to be reasonable. Don't tell me to be reasonable. Listen, let me tell you something. Eh? Whether she called you father and called me uncle, it does not matter. You better get the social for Makuchi. Get him some because next time I come here, I'm taking her home. I'm taking her home. I'm taking home. I just told you. That's all I have to say. I'm going home. Uh, I'm uh, don't forget your yam and your pal. Take it, keep it with you. Come on, take it off here. I called you here because of a very serious issue. We were all present when the king conferred on that little girl the title of the hand of the king. Just because of a wrestling contest. Yes. I was very surprised. I approached the king on his mistake to revoke the title, but he said his decisions are irreversible. And we all know that the title of the hand of the king is a title initiated by our ancestors for great warriors like you. Iwe Ako Kalia went ahead without consulting the Council of Elders to confer that title on that little brat simply because she, she, she won a wrestling contest by chance. What an insult! What arrant nonsense! What an insult to the entire kingdom of Ioma. Now, Odogu, if that title was conferred to somebody like you, a great warrior who had led us to battles, I will not complain. But you were abandoned. Despite all the great battles you have led us to. Successfully. Ha! Huh. Hmm. What a humiliation. To great Odogu. <sighs> we have to correct that mistake. And that is why 
I need the support. I need your support and the support of all the warriors in what I want to do in this kingdom. And I promise you the title of the hand of the king, which is denied of you, I will give it to you. Hmm. You have my support. I will consult the other warriors on your favor. So whatever you want to do, do it straight away. We are strongly behind you. We, we have an understanding. Yes. Good. <sighs> Can you imagine it? Can you begin to imagine? Can you imagine Ogu telling me to wait until he gets instruction from a dead woman, Akuchi, before he can release my daughter to me? Huh? Is he implying that he communicates with the spirit of the dead or what? Eh? What is he implying? If he likes, let him sleep with the dead, with Akuchi's spirit. I don't care. I told him that the next time I will come to his house, I am coming to take my daughter and I will not leave his house until I get my daughter. That's what I told him. But this Ogu man is very, very funny. He's very, very funny. I mean, he should have looked for a much better excuse to give than to say he was waiting to hear from the spirit of dead Akuchi, who is resting with our ancestors. Uh, anyway, brother, next time you are going there, I will accompany you and talk some sense into that his thick skull. What kind of nonsense? And I assure you that we are going to get that girl back to this family, whether Ogu likes it or not. Anybody who knows Obu should tell him not to dare me. Let him not dare me. Because if he dares me, I will show him what the fire can do to the rat of the ears. Nonsense. Is it because he has heard that my daughter is the hand of the king? He now wants to keep her. Can you imagine? He now wants to keep her. He will not. It will not happen. Not when I'm alive. Else, his head will see the sharp edge of my mind. Ah, you have a point there. He will. You have a very good point there. Absolutely. He wants to keep that girl now because of her exalted position. Bring up my one. I need it now. Um, yes, I'm. Um... My fellow elders in council, it is with abject bitterness that I summon this gathering. <clears throat> the confirmment of the title of the hand of the king to a toddler without due consultation with the council of elders is a big slight and neglect on all of us. It is also a big insult to the customs and traditions of our people to confer such an honorable and dignifying title to a guy who is not a warrior. What does she know about battles and wars to earn her such a title? <clears throat> Just because she won a simple wrestling contest and out of excitement, our king conferred on her a title that she is not worthy to have. Now listen to me. We must correct this grievous mistake, blunder, and abomination before we incur the wrath of the gods. Yes, before we incur the wrath of the gods, the gods are wise. <clears throat> um, Palace Council, elders of Ijeoma Kingdom, we have heard what Opadike said. Thank you. To be very honest, I was shocked when the king pronounced that title to the little girl. I wanted to call his attention. But because it is not customary to challenge the king's order, I decided to remain calm. I agree with Okwa DK to correct this mistake before something bad starts happening. 
Because our father said, a child that does not heed advice suffers the consequences. Same to an elder that sees evil and refuses to advise caution. I rest my case. Um, <clears throat> my fellow elders, our people say that what is worn on the wrist does not need mirror before you see it. Um, Okwadike and Onoha, you are in the right direction. Um, we will approach the king and tell him the consequences from the gods. I believe he will revoke the title and give the girl the winning prize for the contest. <clears throat> My fellow elders, what if the king refuses we to receive pass a vote of no confidence on him mm -hmm. and dethrone him? Dethrone the king? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you realize what you have just said is present? I refuse to be part of this. A king, whether wrong or right, has never been dethroned in this kingdom. We we'll start it. We we'll start it with this one. I am living. We we'll start with okay, him. Okay, okay. I don't want okay, to hear okay. evil or be part of it. Um, okay, okay. You just made a suggestion. We have not heard from the king to know if he will accept or not. Come back. It is not possible. I am living. You can go. Uh, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He is chicken hearted. See, the gods made a mistake to make him a man instead of a woman that he should be. That is true. Let him go.
<coughs> well, I have heard all that you said. But you have to remember that it is not easy for an elder to throw out a spit on the floor and lick it back. <coughs> she had to stay with her title and the price too. She saved us from disgrace and humiliation. She is our heroine and earned it too. Your Majesty. Yes. With all due respect. It is said that if a leader goes astray, his followers draw him back and make him follow the right course. But if he refuses, they abandon him to his doom and follow their own course. Uh, our kingdom has uh, customs and traditions. And anyone that goes contrary to it, be he king or subject, must suffer the consequences. What is there, Opadike? Are you threatening in my own palace? Gas! Your Majesty, I am not threatening you. I can't threaten you. I'm sorry if you took my words for a threat. I apologize very deeply, Your Majesty. I apologize sincerely. I would have dumped you in my dungeon. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. We should be talking about the New Year Festival that is only two days ahead. How prepared are we? How many masquerades are we parading that day? Stupid elders. Hopeless elders. Cowards. Cowards! None of them had the courage to say a word or carry out our plan. Useless elders. Shame on you. Shame. As for you, Akukalia, I made you king. I gave you victory. Over Anosike, who is supposed to be king? Akukalia, I will also bring you down. I will bring you down. I will bring you down. Useless elder. Hopeless elder. Ah! Ah! This one you are looking so. I hope that is no problem. I know what you are thinking. <laughs> hey. I think I know the problem. But I have thought out a plan on how to get your daughter back from Oko. Brother Nosike, go and dress up. Let us go. No, we can. Let him be. What did you just say? Yeah, let him be. Just yesterday, brother, you came to me complaining that Ogu will not release your daughter. I thought out a plan on how we can go and get that girl from him. Now I'm here to discuss that plan with you before we proceed. And you're saying let him be. Brother Nosike, what happened that made you change your mind so suddenly? I have slept over it. And I've decided to let him take his time. Take his time, Kwa. Take his time, Kwa. What if he decides to keep that girl forever? Then I'll take it as the will of the gods. What? Did I hear you say the will of the gods? Prodanos, they are not serious. You are not serious. Ay, 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 ay,
for everything. Why is the hand of the king dancing? Because she's happy. And what could make her so happy? She's making the first opening speech at the New Year Festival tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes. You mean you are performing the opening speech? Okay. And why are you laughing? Because I'm still wondering what you say. Of course, I know what to say. Now tell me, what will you say? <laughs> Greetings to you, my people of Iha, my kingdom. I wish to declare the New Year Festival open today. Thank you. Is that all you have to say? Yes, the rest will be said by the king. No, 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 my dear. You are the hand of the king. And this is your first official appearance. You need more encouraging and reasonable words for the king. So where do I get these words from? My dear, I will teach you. But first, what do you want to I appoint you my advice. Good! First of all, you have to eat your food. Then, let me go Go and get your food. Okay. You can join me here. Okwadike, take this portion, put it in his food or drink. Once it passes his throat, it will kill his heart and liver. It's a special preparation for quick death. Take. Thank you. Thank you, Adolu. Thank you. <laughs> Okwadike, farewell. Thank you. He's a very nice man. Who could be a better king if he dies? The evil ones will be happy and seize the throne. And the kingdom will suffer for it. May the gods have mercy and save our king. The gods won't make mistakes. They will enthrone the original but not the fake It is fate, so take your place For the gods have chosen you, Igolo Igolo, the chosen one Take your place, drive away the enemies Igolo Blood. I suspect he was poisoned. By who? Who poisoned him? That I don't know. But I'm a little bit worried because of the position. Because you will not be able to withstand the trouble that will come should anything like that. 
Why? Whoever that poisoned the king might be desiring the truth. I think we will not allow you to stand in this way. Is at the palace? I did not dwell it into the king. The king wants to see her. Yes, immediately. But I will with her. No, I will not go with her. She is needed there alone at the palace. That is a social from the king. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. going to be here. Your Highness, he is on his way. He will be here very soon.
he's going to die. Hmm. They are still deciding. They have not concluded. I know you are a little girl, but I see the courage of a man in you. I see bravery and greatness in you. Mm. If I die, this kingdom will suffer in the hands of those desperate for this throne because I don't have an heir to replace me. I want to give you my last gift before I die. The very necklace which you decide to wear. Greatness follows you, my daughter. You're welcome, my chief priest. He's inside his bed chamber. After you. Dike! Alusana Nwafia! Osawarana!
Has the king given you another gift? Yes. Igolo. He gave me this. You mean the king gave this to you? Yes. Igolo, I have known you to be a brave hunter. Igolo, why would you do this? Why? But he gave it to me. I did not steal it. Do you know I don't steal? Listen, Igolo. Don't make me look like a fool. How can you tell me that the king gave this to you? His real necklace. Don't you know that this is what makes him a king? Without this on his neck, Igolo. He can never sit on the throne of Yoma. It passes from one king to the other. How can he possibly give you what gave him the blessing from the gods and the power to rule Yoma kingdom? But he gave it to me. Igolo, if you claim that the king gave it to you, why didn't you wear it like you used to wear others? Instead, you hid it under your clothes. He asked me to hide it. That he don't want anyone to see it with me. Igolo! Send me this cock and bull story. We are going to the king at once. To confirm this. The king is dead. He died after giving me the necklace. If it is found here, no one would believe that the king gave it to you. They will only conclude that you stole it. And you know the penalty for stealing such thing is dead. Golo, by night, we must look for somewhere and bury it. This is trouble. The king is dead. So, we have to swing into action immediately. So...
Tonight. Are you still mourning the death of the king while you're supposed to be happy that your rival is dead? Mercy, my dear wife. No reasonable man celebrates the death of his enemy. Because death comes to us all. Death is for everyone. It is just a matter of who goes first. I am only concerned about this kingdom. I'm concerned about the wicked that will ascend the throne. Who is the throne waiting for, if not you? Or is there someone else? Mercy. There is someone who desires the throne. And the person is very close to it. Who? You can name that. No. Not again. But what have you come to do about? What have you come to do here? Discuss what? Talk! Listen to me, Alasim. I will give you all my support to become uh, the next king of your kingdom if you will uh, accept my conditions. But you have been supporting Akokaria. Why do you want to support me? Don't I have the right to suicide? If you will accept my condition, I will help you get the throne. Yes. And if I may ask, what is or what are your conditions? If you will make me uh, the Prime Minister, if you will become the next king of your kingdom. But Akukwe, your very good friend, is already the Prime Minister, isn't it? That was, was, he was uh, the Prime Minister uh, to our late king. So that if you become uh, the king, you have a right to change it and make me the prime minister. What if I become king and choose to return? What happens? Uh, uh, that means you don't need my support and you will not get the throne. Let me ask you. you. Why do you want to desperately become the prime minister? Uh, because I want to be a king sometime. So I want to be close to the throne so that I will be able to just switch into becoming a king. I do not need your support. The throne of Iyoma Kingdom is my family's preference. And it will certainly come back to us. When? I know how to play this game and I don't lose at all this one. I'm afraid you have lost this one. Get out of my then you don't know what a one game is capable of. Get out of my compound! Out! Get out! Yeah. And don't you ever step your foot here again. Evil man. Hokotuke wants the throne. May the gods save us from the hands of the wicked. Igolo, make sure you do the things I ask you to do before I come back in the morning. I will, Papa. I wish you luck so you could kill an uncle tonight. Thank you.
टेक केयर ऑफ दी हाउस ओके पापा Our king has passed on. In our very eyes yesterday, he graciously joined our ancestors. He was a great king, worthy of a very defeating burial. And as the Council of Elders, we are in position to plan and give him this befitting burial. And I, Okwadiki, as the Prime Minister of this Kingdom, I stand as the Chairman of this Committee. If any of you have any suggestion, or anything to say about this issue, please, you can go ahead and say it. <coughs> My fellow elders, I think we are missing something here. Is the hand of the king not supposed to be in this meeting? Okay, well, is that a question <coughs> or an observation? It is an observation. Because, as the hand of the king, she's supposed to be part of this king's burial committee. Your observation, no there. But what do you think the little girl will say in this meeting? Does she know anything about the <coughs> burial of a king? By virtue of her position, it is her right to be in this gathering. Because if our people find out that we have exempted her from this meeting, they may conclude that we want to intimidate her. Eh? And remember, she is loved by our people for the single victory she brought to us. So what I trying to say, do you mean we should invite her? Yes. Whether she is going to make any contribution or not, let her be here. From the Prime Minister, what is the observation towards uh, what uh, Okiwa has said? <clears throat> well, um, in as much as I did not favor her appointment as the hand of the king, I will not deny her the right to be a member of this committee if the rest members of the committee say she should. Yes. Um, it seems that um, she's loved by everybody and you as the Prime Minister, it is within your authority uh, to permit her to be here. So I'm suggesting you tell the guards to go and bring her. Alright. All right. Guards! You go to Ogu's house and tell his daughter that her presence is required in the palace immediately. So, in that case, I suggest uh, we suspend this meeting till she comes. All right. Igolo, Igolo, where are you? Igolo, where are you, Igolo? Oh, where is your daughter? You bring message from the palace. She's 
she is not here. Where is she? The message is important. I have not seen her since this morning when I came back from hunting. Could she have gone out for hunting? No. Her hunting bow and arrow are all here. She can never go to hunting without them. This is strange. Igolo had never left the house without letting me know where she goes to. Well, when she eventually comes back, tell her her presence is needed at the palace by the elders in council. Elders in council? Is there any problem? They have a meeting for the burial of the king. Her presence is needed for the meeting. Okay. I will deliver your message when she comes back. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Golo. Golo, where are you? Golo, you are getting me scared, Igolo. Anyway, I will sit here and wait for you till you return from wherever you went to. We didn't see her, so we delivered the message to her father. Okay, okay thank you. But the way her father sent it, he said that he doesn't know her whereabouts, and he said. He has been looking for her since he came back from Hunting. Looking for her? How? It's like she left her without telling him. And that has never happened before. Hmm. All right, guys. You can return to your post, okay? Return to your post. I believe uh, the father uh, will pass the message to her when she returns from wherever she went to okay uh -huh. um so in this case do we continue with the meeting or we'll wait until uh, the message gets to her i think we should proceed with the meeting maybe she may join us in subsequent meetings we can't draw the conclusions or the plans of the burial in today's meeting um, Onoha is right. Let us proceed with the meeting. Her absence cannot hinder us from achieving what we want to achieve in this meeting today. Hmm? She can join us in subsequent ones. Uh, okay, do you have any objection to her suggestion? No. I have no objection at all. Uh, since the majority said we should move on, let's move on. Yes. All right, that's good. Um, so, how do we go about this barrier? Suggestions, please. How did it go? We went there last night and we grabbed her.
I think by now, the lion must have devoured her. Good, good work. You just earned yourself the title of the Hand of the King. Because I stand the future King of your kingdom as I speak to you now. Long live His Majesty. Be blessed by the gods. <laughs> I do not like your mood. I hope all is well. What brings you to my house? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down and have some power. My time is okay. It is not necessary. Now what is it? Where is Igor? Where is Igor? Being my daughter, Igolo. Yes, Igolo. Yes. She left home for the past two days and I've not returned. So I thought she's here with you. Ogu, are you telling me that you are looking for my daughter, Igolo? Besides, how do you expect to find her here? Does she know I'm the father? I ask you! You mean... Igolo is not here with you? I, I thought you came and took her away. Ogu! You thought I took her away? Now you listen to me, Ogu. You better produce my daughter, Igolo. I am giving you four market days. To produce my daughter, Igolo. Else, you will not only draw the wrath of my kinsman, but my wrath. For market days, now leave my compound. Leave my compound, Ogu. Yeah. You mean you are not with Igolo? Ogu, do not let me get into my hut and come out. Leave my compound. Because you will not like it. Leave my compound. Leave my house! Go back and get Ogu! Ogu! I am giving you four market days to produce my daughter. Else, you will not only draw the wrath of my king's man, but my rot! My rot! The rot of Anosiko Uwaja! Go look for my daughter! Go look for Igolo! Find my Igolo! Ayele, 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 Igolo, I must find you. Wherever you are, I won't return to this house without you. There's a time for everything. The time for man and the time for the girls to do their thing. My fellow elders, the hand of, of the king is missing for two days now. This is very, very strange. 
Yes. It's strange. But it is possible that she went for hunting and was killed in the forest by a wild animal. Um, you may not be far from the truth, or no. I heard she goes hunting alone. Probably she has gone hunting and met by a bigger wild animal and it killed her. Then, let's send a search party into the forest to see if they can find her dead body and bring it home for her. What do you think, uh, Okwadiki? Well, uh, uh, I agree with you perfectly. We will choose some warriors and send them to go comb the forest very well and then look for the body and bring it back if they find it. <laughs> Though <laughs> uh, some scavenging animals may have devoured her entire skin and leaving just the useless bones. You are right. Even if it is the bones they find, let them bring it home for us to bury it. The hand of the king must be given at the servant treatment. Right. Um, God! Now, go and tell Odogu, the chief warrior, tell him that his attention is needed right now. Go now. <laughs>
not even a bone left. Eh? I don't think so. No lion eats up everything without leaving a remnant of its kill. I think something must be wrong. Maybe, maybe some, some scavengers ate up the remnants left by the lion. If a scavenger doesn't eat up the remnants of its prey without leaving the bones or blood stains, it must first kill her here. So, so, what are you trying to say? That that little girl escaped from that big lion that we all saw. I guess so. Huh? <laughs> Uh, this is incredible. That they need to get escape from that fierce lion. Eh? Unless maybe the lion took her body somewhere, maybe to eat her up. Eh? <laughs> Even if the lion took her body somewhere to eat her up, there must be trace of struggle and blood stains and bones around here. Which means she's still alive. We must find her and kill her. Because if we get back to the village, Without her body or her bones, the Prime Minister is going to skin us alive. So we have to, we have to comb the whole of this forest and look for her and make sure she's killed. We have to be very, very careful because that lion might still be somewhere around. We have to open our eyes. I guess you're right. Let's move. Lead us, lead us. You're the one with the knife. Go. Lead us. Are you full? Let me, let me, are you full? Full? Ranosike, you mean you have not seen Obi since that day he came to your house? I haven't. I have not seen him. I have been to his house twice without seeing him. He came now. I do not want to believe or even think that he has run away with my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot do that. We will have to find out. How? By breaking down his door to see if the house is empty? Is that how? No. You don't need to do that. Instead, we go to our seer. He will be able to tell us the whereabouts of Ogo. That's what we do. You see, the missing child should not continue to be an issue of discussion anytime we gather here. We should be more concerned about the burial of our late king, Igwe Akukalia. Because very soon, our people will want to hear from us. The issue of this missing child should be rested for now, until the warriors were sent to the forest to, to look for her remains in return. Um, I agree with you, Prime Minister. We have overflowed the issue of the little girl to the point that it was becoming a distraction to the reason we formed this committee. I think we should proceed immediately from where we stop to the main subject of our gathering. This is serious. Very serious. So you mean Okwa Dike had the guts to send the warriors to defend my daughter? What a great revelation for me, Kim. Huh? Huh? 
No problem. Let's go. We must get to the bottom of this, no problem. Brother, we must get to the bottom of this. Are you part of the committee? No, I'm not. I have a message for Kwadike. What's the message for? It is not for your ears. Listen. If we fail to deliver this message and anything happens in this kingdom, <laughs> you will be held responsible. Okay. You can come in. Where is my child? Where did you keep my child? Anosike, you barge in here, disrupting the crucial mission of the Council of Elders to ask me foolish questions. What child are you talking about? My daughter that you abducted with the intention to kill. Where is she? Anosike. You accuse the Prime Minister of Israel Kingdom of abduction and attempted murder. It is no accusation, but the truth. Where is my child? Anna CK, you speak of abduction of your daughter. Why we all know you don't have a daughter? I have a daughter. A daughter born to me by my late wife Akuchi. And she's the hand of the king. Where is she? Anna CK. Hand of the king we know is Igolo, Ogu's daughter. Which other hand of the, of the king are you talking about? I do not have time to explain eh? this. Oh, what again? I'm going to ask you for the very last time. Where is my daughter? Where is she? You don't have a daughter. I'm Where afraid. is she? I say you don't have a daughter. God of the wind, your protector and your guide. I have watched over you since you were born. I want to go home, but I can't find my way. My father will be worried about me. You will go back home. I will help you find your way, but not now. Why? Because you are not yet ready. Ready? For what? You have to be prepared to face your adversary. Until then, you are not going home. Long in this forest, but still there is no trace of you. Are you alive or dead? Even if you are dead, Igolo, at least let me find your corpse and take you home for burial. 
can cause whom the gods are best. Ego no, ego no, ego no, ah, ego no. Anointed one, a warrior, an inferior, but not a superior. With the strength of a thousand men and the heart of a lion, a lion, a lion. The gods won't make mistakes. They will enthrone the original, but not the fake. It is fate, so take your place. For the gods have chosen you, Igolo. Igolo, the chosen one. Take your place, drive away the enemies. Igolo, 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 This are bones, eh? This could be another person that died here in the forest. My friend, what's your problem? The most important thing that we will find some bones to present to the prime minister and to try to convince him that this is her bone. Because I can't afford to go back to that kingdom without the bones, right? He will be disappointed in us, all right? Odugu, you're right. I support you. Guy, back these bones, let go home. See, you, you will be the one to present this bone to Prime Minister. You, you be the one. Come, my friend, are you are you scared? Pack the bones. Let's leave this place. Told you. Pack, 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 pack. There's a time for everything The time for man And the time for the gods to do their thing In man's time he could Ogu deceived us He deceived everyone to believe Igolo was his daughter Now the truth has been revealed That Igolo is the daughter of Anosike what a revelation. I knew they planned this from the beginning and influenced late Akukaria to make the girl the hand of the king so that at 
a given opportunity, they will take back the throne. <laughs> but unfortunately for them, I acted smart and took the child away, who I know must be dead in the forest by now. Yes. <laughs> yes. We are back. She's dead. We brought back her bones and her skulls. With the strength of a thousand men and the heart of a lion, a lion, a lion. The they will enthrone the original but not the fake. <laughs> this my my friends and allies. I call this meeting to announce to you that the girl has been found. Odogu and his friends found her in the forest and brought her back. That's good news. So where is she? So she will join us in our council meeting as agreed. Oh, that's beautiful. Odogu, go and bring her. Bring the girl. She will join us now in our council meeting as agreed. That's okay. What is this? Her remains, eh? the bones. What happened? The bones. They went into the forest, found her bones, all the flesh devoured, and they brought back the bones, just like we agreed. What do we tell our people? Do we tell them what happened? No, no. That is why I call this meeting. Hmm? We will tell no one. We will bury her secretly. Hmm? Uh, because if we tell our people that she's dead, our people may assume a lot of things which may uh, 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 bring crisis. Hmm? Let us keep it that she is still missing. Hmm? She's still missing. And then bury our dead king peacefully. Um, all right. We must perform necessary burial rites for her so that her spirit will not haunt us after. In that case, I agree with uh, Onoha. The burial rites will make her spirit to rest in peace than wandering about. Mm -hmm. I see, I'm not opposed to that. Mm -hmm. All what I'm saying is that we must keep everything about her secret. Top secret. Top secret. Do we agree with that? I agree. I agree. Thank you very much. Good brother, trouble yourself no more. The one you are looking for is safe where she is. Soon she will return. And when she returns, take her back to her real father. It is time for her to fulfill her destiny. Go home. Go home and search no more for Igolo.
People of Ioma Kingdom, the coronation ceremony of Afadike hosts today at the village square. Everyone is expected to come. There will be lots of entertainment, eating and drinking. Tell others as you hear. Did you hear that? Of course I heard it. Plenty entertainment, enough to eat and drink. Me, I won't miss it though. That's for you. If you want to go, you can go. But as for me, I'm not going. Why? Because Okwadike is a very wicked man. I don't like him. Hmm? If he becomes the king tomorrow, we will all suffer. He is very wicked and mean. Huh. Well, as for me, whether you attend or not, he will still be crowned the next king of this kingdom. I am going. So join me, oh. Join me. Let's go eat. Drink and wait for the suffering letter. Me, I'm going, you know. You can go for the merriment. Me, I'm not going. The ceremony awaits you and your ride. <laughs> towards you. The ceremony meant for your glory will be for another. One who the gods have chosen right from her mother's womb. I must prepare for my services will be needed. <laughs> Back, father. You go, my daughter.
I am happy you have returned. But I must take you to someone immediately. I know. You want to take me back to my real father. Eh? Nicolo. How do you know about that? My spirit told me. But before we leave, I need to get something. Put here. perpetual suffering. Even the gods of the land feel the heat of his Maybe that will make them have a rethink for allowing him ascend the throne. <laughs> Do you think he has the, the backings and blessings of the gods to be king? Of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't. Don't forget that the royal necklace with the anointing of the or the blessings of the gods mm -hmm. got missing a long, long time ago. Mm. And without that necklace, mm. he sits on that throne as an impostor, devoid mm. of the backings or blessings of the gods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that case, his reign may not be long. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. he Let me tell you. A little time an evil man rules a kingdom is enough to point that kingdom into pain. Mm. That means that will last forever. Mm. Oh, yes. May the gods have mercy on us and save us. We should return to our home with the blessings of the gods. Mm. Indeed, a blessing. I brought back your daughter. Huh? Igolo. This is your real father. And his brother, Ikena, your uncle. Papa. Uncle. Welcome home, my dear. Welcome home, my niece. Welcome home. I will quickly introduce you to the rest of the family. Um, uh, uh, Masi, Masi, Obinda, where are you? Come! Come! Your daughter. You hold her. You hold her. Igolo. Igolo, my daughter. Hey! Igolo, this is Masi, my wife, and your stepmom. Eh? Obinda, this is Igolo. My daughter, your stepsister, eh? You go, that is Obi, your stepbrother. Ogu, eh? Ogu, thank you very much for bringing my daughter home. May the gods reward you abundantly. Mazano Sike, it is a promise. Yes. You go, my daughter, you're welcome back. We are happy to have you back. Yes, yes. I have longed to meet you, my, my sister. <laughs> Father spoke a lot about you. <laughs> yes, I did. You are welcome. Yes. Igolo, we uh, can't wait for you to sit beside your father. Come and sit here. Come and sit. You will conquer it. You will take over it. You are the victor.
for man and the time for the gods to do their thing in man's time he could do and undo but in the god's time what should be done is what they will do ah, hey, they will choose for themselves that special one the chosen one to do their bids they will choose all the unexpected, the unaccepted, and the rejected. But whom the gods have chosen, no one can reject. And no one can curse whom the gods have blessed. Igolo, 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 ah, Igolo, Igolo, Igolo. Where are the warriors? Because of the way my king. Oh, the rain. Yes, that is the handwork of thy enemies. But they have failed because my great rainmaker shut down the rain. <laughs> the coronation must go on. Where are the rest of the warriors warrior. told them to meet us at the square and go akugo 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 with the strength of a thousand men and the heart of a lion your mother is interested why everybody is waiting for me at the square for the coronation you want to delay my coronation or anyway you two will be coming later let's go it is fate, so this, we know that they have a For the gods have chosen you, Igolo, Igolo, the chosen one. Take your place, drive away the enemies, Igolo, 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 Igolo. Dike, Igolo, 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 the gods won't make mistakes they will enthrone the original but not the fate. Eagle it on is on fate. You. So take your place for the gods Eagle chosen you. Eagle on. Eagle on. Eagle on. Eagle on. Eagle on. 
What is it? Eh? Why are you shouting my name as if uh, something is wrong? Nay, I brought food for Igolo and she's nowhere to be found. What is the meaning of that? Eh? Nay, she's not in the hut. You checked for her in there and she's not there. Nay, come and check by yourself now. Are you sure you searched very well? Yes! 
There's a time for everything The time for man And the time for the gods To do their thing In man's time My great people of Ego Kingdom Today we're making our history The first of its time A woman sitting on the throne of Ego this is the choice of the gods. As you all can the see, she's wearing the royal necklace anointed by the gods. They will choose Only for the one endorsed by them. Respected, the unaccepted and the rejected. But whom the gods have chosen, no one can. We believe her land will bring good fortune, health, and, and above all, prosperity can and it is. By the power and authority vested on me as the chief priest of this great kingdom. I crown you with this title. With the strength Bigolo, of a thousand men. The lioness of Iyama Kingdom. Her Royal Highness, lion. King Bigolo. The, the lioness of Iyama Kingdom. Lovely. The cruel and cruel. The original but not the fake. It is true. So take your place. What can I tell you about this? Hey, 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 hey,